Welcome, everyone. Um, my name is Mary Pratt. I work in the Division of Chronic and Post-Acute Care at the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. Uh, we live in the Center for Clinical Standards and Quality, and we live in a group uh, with our uh, sibling uh, divisions uh, called the, um, oh golly, Ah, quality Measurement and Value-Based Incentives Group. It's a new name. We were recently uh, reorganized to reflect some of the new activities underway at CMS. The, uh, we really appreciate you all coming and being present with us today in Baltimore. Uh, we think we have a lot to share with you, a lot that we have to learn from you. And I want to emphasize uh, very much so this morning, how important it will be to com keep communication going um, from you know, the past into the future uh, as our programs expand and grow. We really, it's going to be vital to work in partnership together with the long-term care hospital uh, groups and providers and staff, um, people that are caring for patients. So. Um, this is a great step to see you all here. Um, we have an incredible lineup of people, uh, very talented and experts in various areas that can help answer questions, uh, help give guidance on areas that may need further explanation. I think it'll be a really um, fun-filled <laughs> and um, packed day of information. Uh, there'll be some interactive ways to work with staff that I'll, I'll um, explain uh, as I go through my, my um, introductions and welcome. I get to do housekeeping stuff, which I love, as opposed to house cleaning, which I don't love. So uh, um, I'm always, uh, I always want to know what's what and where's where. Um, there's been an incredible uh, level of effort uh, to get this um, this training session uh, off, off and running. And I really want to thank uh, the crew at CMS who have um, a mix of new staff as well as seasoned veterans, uh, including myself, <laughs> who've been around, uh, who has been around uh, 30 years at CMS, uh, to come together to pull this off and then working with contractors and experts in the field to provide information. But I wanted to talk just real quickly about some of the uh, changes um, that are coming um, to the long-term care hospital uh, as, as a result of the IMPACT Act and the passage um, this past year. And that, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's called the Passage of the Improving Medicare Post-Acute Care Transformation Act of 2014. We call it the IMPACT Act. And it's charged with standardizing data elements and quality measures for a subset of quality domains across a disparate set of existing patient assessment instruments utilized in the post-acute care settings. Now this, um, this includes not only the long-term care hospitals, but also skilled nursing facilities, home health agencies, inpatient rehab facilities, and hospices. No, not hospices. I, I, that's wrong, not hospices. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't check my notes beforehand. Um, the, um, the transformation of the assessment and the quality measures will allow us to measure and compare outcomes across the settings to enhance Medicare's ability to measure resource use across settings, and most importantly, uh, to improve patient safety and outcomes by facilitating information transfer between care providers as patients transfer between settings. And I think we all know firsthand how vulnerable people are, uh, not only in the, in the post-acute care settings, but especially as they move from um, one setting such as the acute care hospital into the post-acute care. Those are vulnerable times. So as moving forward, we're, we're working to improve the use of information to make this a better and safer outcome for patients. So let's see, specifically in this two-day training event, we will provide the information necessary for you to go back to your organizations 
and train others on the impact of new and revised data requirements associated with the trans, uh, transition from the LTEC Quality Reporting Program Manual 2.01 to version 3.0, both in terms of data reported directly to CMS as well as through the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention via the National Healthcare Safety Network. So the purpose of today's training uh, and tomorrow's training um, is highlighted here. We're gonna focus on presentations about the new and revised data standards uh, going from the different versions of the manual and the data sets. And we will focus on the uh, long-term care hospital quality reporting program quality metrics that are reported to CMS uh, via the CDC's NHSN net network, the National Healthcare Safety Network. So the training is based on a train the trainer concept and our goal, as I said, was to equip you with information to take back uh, to organizations in adopting new and revised data standards that will be come effective, and this is important, April 1st, uh, 2016. Um, the action planning throughout the day, um, you'll find in your worksheets, uh, action planning, uh, or in your welcome packet, you'll find an action planning worksheet. And uh, what we're um, hoping to see is the use of the worksheet to help record the steps um, that you decide to take uh, back to um, others to educate in your organization about the new changes. And then following each presentation, they'll spend a few minutes planning next steps, um, and the speakers will prompt everyone to think about um, your own personal action plan at the conclusion of their presentations. Um, we consider these um, educational needs as well as any processes our workflows uh, that may need to change in order to meet the data collection needs of each section of the data set. So that will be important conversations, I think, to have not only here but back, back at your organization. And the goal of the exercise is to help focus your th ideas and thoughts into the steps you will need to take to accomplish your goals. So there'll be interactive coding ceremony, uh, scenarios, sorry, my mouth is not working today and um, different uh, color-coded response cards in the welcome pack, um, and the speakers will present scenarios. And I think uh, we'll walk through these uh, more in detail as the presentations uh, go on, and so we'll have practices uh, throughout the day. So uh, in terms of questions and, an and answers, we are asking that um, you do not ask questions during the presentations, but instead, uh, please write down your questions on the cards and drop them into baskets at your tables. Um, maybe there's not baskets, but at least there's a pile there. Or maybe someone will give better instructions on what to do with the uh, cards. Also, when you um, write down your question, please include your name and your email address with your question and we can do further follow-up uh, if necessary as well. So at the end of each session, a runner will pick up the cards and provide them to the presenter that had addressed um, the topic of interest, um, and then we will uh, spend time, if there's remaining time in that session or later in the day. Let's see. There'll be evaluations, and we ask that you complete the evaluation forms each day and hand them in. Uh, the day one and um, at the end of day two. And um, in terms of the timeline for posting training materials to the CMS website, you'll receive an email uh, when, the, when the training material is ready to be viewed. So the f last housekeeping items before I introduce Mark are, of course, to please silence your cell phones. Um, and that lunch will occur uh, I believe, let's see, what time? Around noon, a little after. And there are various restaurants in the area and there's a buffet downstairs. These are the housekeeping items I love. And um, we're, we will make our best uh, to hold uh, to the time frames listed because I'm out of time. <laughs> so I'm already getting us behind. Uh, 
but that's okay. And um, I hope you all found the restrooms and the coffee and uh, tea that's out, out back. Also, for everyone's information, there are people here in yellow shirts. Um, they are supporting our uh, work today and will be available. Please um, go to them to ask any questions or if you need any assistance or reasonable accommodations. We have a number of slides to present and information if there are any, any special needs you have and uh, requirements or requests about the slides, please again let us know. And I'm going to, I think, turn it over now to Mark uh, Stewart, who's our MC for the day, and he will you know, undoubtedly show us a great time. So thank you again, and welcome to Baltimore. <laughs>